Previously, a new president was elected to rule the house. There are people in here that I don't think are built for war. It's going to get nasty. All y'all need to just fall back. Why are you coming yeah, at me with that? That's the truth. Don't say that, okay, Gail? If you're too sensitive to handle it, then get to stepping. The police can kiss my ass you on that. that. The gloves are off. You want me to talk some shit? Shut your gob! Don't push people, no. Sherry. No. And don't touch no. me. Big brother, figure it out. Tonight, four Brits' futures hang in the balance. I am going to pick Chris. Chloe and Stevie. Yeah, Bobby. Okay. Gail. <sighs> Who steers? You decide. Please welcome your host, Emma Willis. Hello and welcome to Celebrity Big Brother UK versus USA and our second live eviction. Okay, so three days ago, 12 celebrity hot dogs, yes, hot dogs, went head to head in a battle to rule the house. Team UK failed to uh, catch up with the competition, leaving President Scoop and his fellow Americans relishing in nomination immunity. Come on! Tonight, four British bangers are fighting to save their skins. But who do you think cuts the mustard? Remember, you are voting to save. To save Bobby from a landline, call 090-2044-2402. Or from a mobile, call 644-2402. To save Chris from a landline, call 090-2044-2403. Or from a mobile, call 644-2403. To save Gail from a landline, call 090-2044-2406. Or from a mobile, call 644-2406. To save Stevie and Chloe Jasmine from a landline, call 090-2044-2413. Or from a mobile, call 644-2413. Here's Marcus. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, but two votes will cost you 99p. You must use your app vote credits by the end of this Celebrity Big Brother series. Existing credits will have no value once this series finishes. Voting closes in tonight's show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you watch on catch up or outside the UK. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Okay, let's get you up to speed with what happened yesterday. And Stevie is keeping abreast of last night's events. Day 12, 9.36 a.m. Chloe, Jasmine, Stevie and Natasha are discussing last night's events. Oh, a bit went tits up last night, didn't it? Yeah. Um, Did it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? Mm. No. Just a little. I don't think we've gone 24 hours without a murder. It just feels like it's the same people. All of well, yeah, me. <laughs> no, 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 no. no I ain't, I ain't you. You're trying to be practical. Yeah. I'm sorry it fell on deaf ears. Mm. Austin is testing the waters. <laughs> Sherry! Yeah? There's hot water. Ah! Scoop is in the diary room. How are you finding the experience of being president? 
it's amazing on one hand and it's crappy on the other. I find it crappy in the sense that no matter what you do, no one will be happy. So I got it from Natasha in the fact that she felt that I didn't stand up for her. I got it from Jen because Jenna was like, well, you letting these people talk about me. If I would have known it was this hard, I would have charged three times my fee. United States and the United Kingdom, we're both united. If I can work towards that, then I think, I, I think that my presidency meant something. And when it's time for me to give it up, I'll give it up. Janice is admiring Chloe Jasmine's engagement ring. I'm telling you, that, enga that engagement ring is the best. Hey, no, I guess it's, it's forever on it. It's just, uh, don't never take it off. No. Please don't take it off. It's either. a bit loose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it in your middle finger. We'll just chuck it way down there. Yeah, please. Stay. Sit. Good thing. Sit. Woof. <laughs> Sherry is enjoying a hot shower. So last night, um... By the way, I am never speaking to Sherry. After she kept pushing me and pushing me... Um, it wasn't just Sherry. And I was speaking to I one person. I cannot believe the way Chris, Bobby, Sherry, and Natasha were acting. It was between you and Natasha, you know? She, yes, she, you she know really what? took it personal about the food. Like she's really crazy. Weird. She kept like saying negative shit. So I was like, you know what? Instead of bringing a girl up, you bring her down. You just attack people and you just are so negative. I'm like, I think don't you... she just drank too much last night, to be honest. Whatever. I was just like, well, that was like. I was just like, hey, that why don't you bring child, a child? Yeah. Child, childhood, shit. shit, elementary school bully bullshit. And you know what? I'm happy that, that. And I don't want any more goddamn apologies, to be honest. Oh, I don't I'm need just an apology. Over it. I'm over that fake, fake. bullshit. It's no. fake. It's fake. I don't like it. Eleven fifty-six a.m. Janice is talking to Big Brother. If I were Scoop, and if I were actually been voted president of, uh, on our team, I would really make a snap and whip and try to be the peacemaker constantly. And I truly believe that Scoop has not done a thing that he set out to do, in my opinion. But if I were president, this place would be sparkling, you know? It would be, there would be order. There would be, there'd be a lot more fun instead of all this skullduggery, if that makes any sense. President Scoop has decided to deliver a speech to the rest of the house. Last night was the first time that I didn't really get any rest. Last night, I was able to see you do what you do, people do all kinds of stuff and not for the reason I wanted, because I was up, twisted and turning. As I see it, here were the events of last night. Natasha voiced her opinion. She said, Mr. President, I want to come to you. I want to talk to you about what's going on. Mm -hmm. No problem. We came to a conclusion that the best way forward was to have a council, to have a full plan, and move forward. Jenna walked into it in the middle of a conversation and as anybody would, being attacked got very confrontational. Who was being attacked? Oh, listen, we were talking. I, another thing, I would appreciate if nobody asked me questions or any, nobody asked questions or anything until I'm finished. I just want to say one thing about the food in general. I'm not going to go into the situation, whatever, but I'm going to tell you something. We are going to look fucking crazy if we're seen as arguing about food. There are people in mm. India, Africa, right. there are people in my country and your country that are homeless right now, that a one slice of bread would be the biggest shit that ever happened in three weeks, mm. okay? Yeah. I'm the person who consumes the least food in here. That's a fact. But I am the fattest one, so I'm gonna look the craziest out of all of you because it's gonna oh. look like I hate everything. But 
All I'm saying is that we need to fall back on that because image is everything. And no matter what you say, we all have brands in here. We all have brands. And I don't want my brand looking crazy. It's a family right now. I'm your family. I ain't shit, but I'm all you got. And you all I got. And that's it. That's the bottom line. So we will live together. I will listen to what you say, and I will tell you what I feel, and God willing, we're going to work it out. That's all I can say. I'm going to leave y'all on that. If you, wanna, if you guys want to discuss anything amongst yourselves, discuss it. I'm going to go do my steps. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. That was actually quite a really powerful, powerful speech. Fantastical. No. Tash. How are you feeling, Tash? Was that a group chat or was that just directed at me? No, it wasn't directed at you. I was directed at you, there's Tash. No, there was, there's no discussions anymore. Everyone's just left and gone. So really, nothing's, nothing's been resolved, has it? I don't even think they even understood what the fuck Scoop was saying. Uh, no, they didn't give a shit. The only <laughs> people that really kind of, you know, process things you know, digest things are like Stevie and Chloe. And you know what, though? I think they just really wanted us to talk and say stuff, and I'm happy I didn't. I ain't got nothing to say Austin, to those Austin, hoes. like, stares at me when I come in the room. Who? Like, Austin stares at me when I come in the room. He just wants to be in the middle of shit, and the fact that he has nothing to do with this is eating his little freaking dark soul alive. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve forty-five p.m. Janice is teaching Stevie and Gil yoga. Harder, Richie! Richie, harder! Oh! Tight, 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 tight! Oh, oh Janice! That's fucking hell tighter than that. Oh, tight oh, that, that tight. shit. Tighten it. Oh! Tighten it. Yeah. All right, let up. Okay. 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 Now we're gonna come up. Oh go. God! No, no. What? Oh God! No, no, no. Just no. my my chest. Uh. I, I don't care. <laughs> Sit up on the butt. Men, men have to adjust the jewels. Adjust those. Adjust the. Richie. Yeah. This back thing. Richie. Yeah. Oh, if I have to do everything for you, no, Richie. No, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm no, doing you're it. not doing it. I am. Like, Sit the fuck oh, up. Ow. Oh, okay. Shut up. <laughs> like that. If 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 that's as far as you can go. Up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you on your butt? Yep. Butt and the dick okay? Dick's fine. Farah and Jenna are filling Scoop in with further details of last night. Natasha was absolutely and sure me. on one last night. I don't know if it's the wine or what. I don't know, but Does I've she never seen... She was know. screaming profanity. She was calling her names. And Farah, I mean, defended herself. But I didn't cuss From what I yesterday. Saw. Mm -hmm. I said, shame on you. I'm going to go talk to her, too. It was somewhat misplaced. Oh, 100%. But, but I also think, you know what I also think it was, too? I think it's what people were feeling, but she had the guts to come and say it. Well, oh. and I respect that 100%. But she, if she had guts, she should have made sure that I was there since she was, like... She had the issue with me. You know something? It should have been me, you, and her. And Absolutely. Could have sat Not James and Austin. Or me in the room saying? or anything. It, it just needed to be talked through. Me, you, and her. All right, try this, Richie. Yeah. First of all, point your toes the way I taught you. Yeah. Let's, let's work on the feet here. You know. Let's work on your feet here. Go well, like that. That. Okay. Tight, 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 tight. Tight, tight. You're sitting up straight, though, Richie. Yeah. Tight, 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 tight. Okay, Richie. Now do now flex. Flex. Now flex. flex. I, when I say flex, I mean fucking flex. I'm flexing. Tight, 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 tight. Okay. Flex. <sighs> Listen. I'm gonna talk to you. Cause I'm gonna tell you. Cause I don't want you to think that this whole thing was pointed towards you. And I don't want to fight you. Listen, Scoop, I don't want to fight. I was trying to explain that to Jenna last night. I just want everybody to be happy. Look, and, I'm and not going to let last night spoil my time right, in the house. Right. I can honestly say I have not started one argument in this house 
But if someone is in your face, and it's happened to me a few times in a week now, I couldn't just sit there and take it anymore. How I feel like what, what was starting to happen is because I didn't rise, there was almost like a pack with them, that pack mentality. And, you know, it had nothing to do with Farah. And Farah jumps in and they're trying, you know, both trying to overpower me when I was being very civil to Jenna. And okay. that's why when I went out there, I thought that would be it. And it kicked off because I thought, you aren't bullying me anymore. The Brits are finally fighting back. Yes. Uh, now, unlike Natasha glugging on a bottle of Jenna's wine, it's time for us to put a cork in it. But after the break, we're going to be giving you a full measure of house action. Plus, we'll be decanting a housemate absolutely live. See you on the other side. of Celebrity Big Brother UK versus USA. Now, like Bobby taking a midnight wonder tonight, one unlucky Brit is going to get a rude awakening. But who do you want to keep tucked in? Remember, you are voting to save. From a landline, call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile, call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. To save Bobby, add 02. To save Chris, add 03. To save Gail, add 06. To save Stevie and Chloe Jasmine, add 13. Here's Marcus. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting closes in tonight's show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. Please don't try to vote if you're watching on Catch Up or outside the UK. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. until tonight's vote closes, so crack on. Um, OK, let's rewind to yesterday, and Gail is coming clean in the diary room. Seven sixteen pm Gail is talking to Big Brother about the competition. I don't want the Americans to win. I hope I don't... I kind of want to go home, but then I also want to stay and beat everyone. I hope they miss me if I do go, because this house is going to be a blinking pigsty. I bet you. Chris is talking beauty regimes. You have to have your face mask as well. I oh, know. Let's do they that tomorrow. Exfoliated. Okay. Well, oh, she's, she's so nice, good, lovely. that uh, Tosh. I think all the things that they wish could happen to me in here have happened. I've had my nails done, I've had my yeah. nails done. Yeah, you've even had sex with your mistress, I see. Hey, uh, Janice! Please, please. Oh, I'm joking. Yes. I know you're joking. I'll keep your eyes closed, yes. otherwise you're going to get I'm still in character. Oh, yeah. Lady Felmouth. Scoop and Bobby are talking about Farrah. Oh, I, I can't believe that anyone could be quite so nasty. If you came to America, yeah. you ain't seen nothing, bro. Oh, God. You haven't seen it can't anything. Be, it can't be American culture that makes somebody behave like that. It's, it's something that has happened. It's pain in her life that creates her to defend herself with such venom. It's venom, man. I've met American women who yeah. are, are, are lovely. They don't, if you have an argument with them, they don't say vile things to you. She, she says vile things because that's her defence. You have to consider where people have been Hello. to walk in... Hey, lovely. Speaking, okay. speaking of the devil. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> 9.36pm. James is being the spokesman for the Brits. All I'm doing is I'm sitting in the middle here from talking to you and what I hear from my English friends. 
yeah. other housemates. What we felt was that it was more of a dictatorship in terms of you did a great speech, but what we would have expected, I think what they would have, what they would have respected was the chance to talk about it together without arguing, but without falling out. But we've never been allowed that. No, but maybe that's and what we, we all never, need. But we maybe never brought that up. Needs. We never, like, had your guys' asses over it. But, Listen, I, but I think the, the recent events and after 12 days of being in this house... That's not the British it's, way, It's though. got to the point, yeah. Well, you know? it's the fucking American it, way, I, baby. Uh, no, 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 but what I'm... But that's what, just, like, the simplest way. I'm not going to just go along with but the it's, British it, way. You've all got, like, loads of conversation here and you've got all different opinions and things. I have maybe, no loads of conversation. But maybe you, if we sat down and you talked to these people... I do. ...and say it to the phases, then we can get it all out of the way and move on. James, do you want it to happen right now? Now we could all get around the table and get drunk oh, together. Yeah, it's not the time to do it now, Yeah, it's not the time, is it? No, it's not. Natasha and Gail are talking about Scoop. Listen, in all honesty, Scoop's doing my head in. Yeah, me too. And I like, thought I was going to get on with him the whole time. But it's just, you know Because what? I don't care what he says, he has been... He hasn't been neutral. No, not at all. He wants world peace. There ain't no world peace in this house. I think it's an issue of... When you talk, when you talk crazy, to, when you get, when you get into your your thing, he's not used to that. As an American man, I'm used to that because I understand. Yeah. I'm used no, to that. I understand I'll tell you exactly how. Exactly what it is. <laughs> That's exactly let, what let it is. Let him, let him talk, I'll yeah. tell you exactly let what let it is, talk. Farah. Is I feel like you got no respect for anybody, and the things you say to people are hurtful, and it's as if you don't even care about you it. You know what? I have respect for people who have respect for me. When I see that people are being disrespectful and they affect people negatively in other ways, and they have a big ass mouth, I have a fucking That's problem with that. Yeah. People in this this house, like Sherry, bless her, you know, they don't know how to handle your personality. And it is confrontational. Sometimes it is hurtful and disrespectful, and they don't get it and don't know well, how to handle it. Well, then she shouldn't have come in the house. No, no. That I shouldn't be pushed. That I shouldn't be talked down to. Hold on, hold on. Listen, Far no, no, no. Listen, Farrah James. I'm gonna give it to you for the record. Right is right, and wrong is wrong. This man has bust his ass trying to, trying to, trying to understand you and There's get no at you. Doubt about he that. has he, bust he has. his ass on multiple occasions. Oh, right okay. is right, wrong is wrong. And that's man, fine if you no, talk no, about no, it, no, and listen, I'm right here to Farrah, talk Farrah, to. Farrah, 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 Farrah. What I'm asking you is just to take it down just a little bit. Look, look at this man. He's he's really trying. Like I, feel I appreciate like, it. I feel like he's... I've told you I've appreciated it. I sit down and I talk to you one on one. I just think that the way the, some of the way you've spoke to people in this house and stuff like that is not fair. So who is what that I've spoken to that's not fair? There's various that people that you spoke to. What do you think is well, not you, the unfair? The way you've spoke to me on several occasions for a start. So that's yourself, yeah. and I have spoken so to you, and I have obviously play. apologized. No, I can take it, I don't that's mind, but there's people in here that can't take it that you've upset, you know, how you spoke to people. And Farah, I think you frighten a lot of people. People are frightened of your confrontation. Dude, the way you, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck You're an intimidating is going on person. in this household? You are an intimidating person. You know, you are. You Sometimes might think you are, there's you something are. to be said for softening yourself. But I, like, I, I honestly don't mean to, like, offend or be too strong. You know, when you start going off, I don't think you either know what you're saying. Yeah. I think you're going faster than your brain's going. And I don't think you really mean it, to be honest Here's with you. Here's, like, a personal I thing that I'm nothing. working on. It means nothing. Like, I go to therapy for this even before I came in here. I've actually been working on my therapy. My parents, and kind of what they have taught me, if you will, and I grew up with, like, I sound a lot like my mother. I really, really work hard to change this cycle and... You know, my dad really speaks down a lot of the time, and I've worked on that. So can I'm I, also just, always I, working I, on I, that. Can I just say, these people do have feelings, you know, and it and hurts so their do feelings. I. But I don't think anyone's ever said anything to hurt your feelings, have they? You know what, James? I may have a higher tolerance than many people might, but I will say when someone comes towards me in a, like a derogatory, negative way, I handle my sensitivities and my emotions there and I move the fuck on after. Ten thirty-seven p.m. Austin and James are talking about nominations. I just, after we had to nominate three Brits. It's not been easy, mate, but it is what it fucking is, Austin. If it weren't you nominated, it'd have been us nominated, so, you know, it's irrelevant. But the thing is, I have no concern if you're voting. If Team USA has to vote Team USA, I might be a bit concerned. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe. 
Yeah, but because you, you've gone out of your way to make an effort, Austin. I do you know, is, you've gone out of your way, but with everybody. Yeah, 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 I have. Not just individual people. I don't really think there's anybody that you've not had a chat to. Farah is clearing the air with Sherry. And I, I have to, obviously, I mean, because I'm going to just apologise because I was upset because I felt like I kept getting pushed. Well, I didn't I know think if it was from trying you to get or you Scoob, into the yes. and I heard it. The pushing was too much for me, and it... Yeah, it was, I didn't push you, I didn't yeah. touch you, but I was trying okay. to say to you, go... I just felt like I was, so I wanted to just say... I apologize for any of my, obviously I was upset, not at you, at someone else, but just know I really try my hardest to connect. I'm sorry, I just want to make sure. Not your fault. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna grab a piece of like, I don't That's not me. But I'd much rather I'm not, just talk I'm not to a you. bitch. I, I'm really not. It's like, I know you're not. I'm Good. very open and honest. Mm. I consider you as a friend. Yeah. I know that whatever I was to say to Farah, will fall on deaf ears. You guys should should talk one on one because, I mean, she. Jenna, I gave it a lot of my time yesterday. You I saw know. me. I made a conscious effort. I was like, I'm gonna, uh, you know, I, I am gonna make an effort with you. Yeah. But she wanted that fight last night, so I'm like, well. And I'll agree with you on that. Yeah. Like so. I'll I'll agree with you. Unless you're not, you're gonna come to me and say I was out of order. And I'm not going to be making it. I'll be going like, well, fair enough. Yeah. You know, we're not. We're not ever going to be the best of mates, but let's be civil. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, give me a hug. Oh, I really think you're fantastic, and I'm sorry that I went out here. I Ooh, take things a little bit, a little bit more sensitive with you because I like you. Yeah. Eleven fifteen p.m. In the bedroom, Janice is checking up on Chloe Jasmine. Okay. I'm just worried. I didn't want to go. Ooh. You know, I'm so proud of you and I applaud your honesty, your courage. I applaud your dignity. You are a phenomenal. Scoop is talking about nominating the Brits. It fucking sucks because I love you so much. Hey, Scoop, honestly, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Listen, let me tell you something. Bottom line, if you asked me about nominating you before I got out of that car, I would have been like, I'll do it in 10 seconds. It is what it is. But you start to live with people, you start to see the best of people, and you like them, and you got to pull the trigger, it's just as painful as pulling the trigger on your family. It hurts when you have to do it and you don't want to do it. Yeah. It fucking fine. sucks. No. Listen, I'm fine. If, if, I, if I go tomorrow, I'm going to say that I had a really amazing, weird, <laughs> fucking crazy few, what, 12 days. Made it halfway through. Made some friends. Made, met some people I probably would never see again, ever unless I have to. But if I stay, as I said to Jenna, I will whoop your ass! Blam! I, I will win you. this motherfucker! I will, I will whoop your ass. <laughs> Please do not call as your vote won't count. Now, don't go anywhere because after the break, we're going to be heading live to the house with your results. See you very soon. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother UK versus USA live. Tonight, Bobby... Chris, Gail, or Stevie and Chloe Jasmine will be the second celebrity housemate to leave the Big Brother house. You've been voting for the past 48 hours and the results are in.
time to talk to the house. Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Uh, Hi, Emma. Hi, Bobby. I love you. Bobby. Yes. Emma. Emma. Chris. Gail. Stevie and Chloe Jasmine. Yay! The viewers have spoken. Your fate is sealed. For the last two days, the British public have been voting to save. I can now reveal the celebrity housemate with the fewest votes and second to be evicted is... <laughs> Chris, you have lost your place in the Celebrity Big Brother house. You have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. Cheers, guys. All right, mate. Have a good one. Pleasure. Cheers, guys. It's not fair. I shall have a large gin and tonic, darling. You will. It's been an honour and a pleasure to spend time with you, Chris. Thank you. Say hi to your missus. I will. Say hi to your children. God bless you. Thank you so much. Oh, shit. See you guys. You got it. Chris, you have been evicted. Please leave the celebrity Big Brother house. <laughs> Tell me why, Chris. Well, I've just got fed up with it. I mean, you know, I just got it's so mad in there, mm. and uh, I thought I was losing my sanity some of the time. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I mean, there was just crazy arguments all the time, and yeah. shouting and screaming, and and uh, and it got a bit boring actually. You know, they just go on shouting and screaming. Right. And, uh, um, I mean, it's been. It, it's been quite a watch for us, hasn't it, as viewers? And, yeah, I guess and we, it has. we get an hour of highlights. Yeah, yeah. You are living in it 24 yeah. hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it must, have been, it must have been pretty intense. Yeah, it was um, on the time. I mean, I didn't actually get involved with any of it. So, yeah. I mean, it was just listening to people talking very loudly. Uh, <laughs> right from I the beginning. I wonder who you could be talking yeah, about. Well, I'm just talking about our American cousins <laughs> um, who are just very loud mm. all the time. And they, and they don't listen to anything and they just talk over you and they just try and dominate every conversation. And, and um, basically, I just got bored with them. Um, one of the American housemates is the reason why you're here tonight, because Scoop had to obviously yeah, deliver know, that know, know. killer nomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, did you, what did you think to his, to his reasoning? Well, I understood it. I mean, he probably thought I wasn't, you know, 
doing enough. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a games player. Yeah. I never have been. I mean, you know, Christmas in my house is really boring. I mean, you know, <laughs> we don't, they all want, I don't know, oh, we don't want to do that. Who wants to play charades? But anyway, we did but, hear uh, you I say, do that though, for a living. What? Well, exactly. We did hear you say that, you know, when, when the nomination happened, you said, I'm an actor, I read a script, I do my job. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I, 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 mean I wanted to do me. my best in here. Yeah. And I did. I tried to keep, my, keep myself sane, basically. Yeah. And, uh, and the, the other thing, that you cannot sleep at night, because they all bloody well snore. And so, well, we've heard Scoop, haven't we? Yeah, we have heard Scoop. Oh, well, yeah. I heard him every night, and I heard various <laughs> others who chimed in. It was like an orchestra most nights. And uh, so uh, that was really difficult because you were getting sleep deprivation yeah. as well as all the, no you know, the other stuff. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. Yeah. I mean, it was a very comfortable bed. Yeah. But, um, but it's all of those things, isn't it? You know, you kind of watch Big Brother and you think you're just yeah. living in a house. No, but there no, are lots no, of things no, 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 it's very intense. Psychologically that are going very on, whether it's intense. lack of sleep, lack of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Huge. also, um, loud people. Yes. Um, in your VT before you went in, you said that prattling American women would yeah. be your absolute nightmare. Yeah, so and is, I got it. I was going to say, did your nightmare come <laughs> yeah, through? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, full, uh, 100%. And, okay. uh, <laughs> 100%. Let's, talk, let's talk about them then. Um, let's start with Farrah. Yeah. What is she like? We well, obviously, again, yeah. watch a little bit. I don't you, really know her, actually, her. to tell you the truth. I don't know anything about it. I just know that she kept kicking off with various people. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know the reasons. I mean, somebody put something on her, on her bed. Well, listen to him now, screaming about her. Oh, yeah. She'd be lucky to escape with her life. <laughs> <laughs> I think she will. Yeah, I think yeah, she will. Yeah, yeah. Um, she kind of had conflict with quite a few of the housemates. I know, she did. She, why I think why she had... do you think not you? Well, because I'm because never... she doesn't seem scared I... to go for anyone, no, does she? No, no, well, I never spoke to her. Right. <laughs> I, I just ignored her. <laughs> I said, don't come near me. <laughs> um, she's quite close with uh, Jenna as well. Well, they're, isn't they're she? two American. I mean, in a way, it's a little bit unfair what, um, because they needed each other. So they're the two Americans. Jenna's a very nice girl. Yeah. I mean, she is. I like Jenna. But she's, she was kind of locked in with uh, Farah, where she still is. And, uh, and there were a lot of us, the Brits kind of stuck together. I mean, I, you know, I had Sherry to talk about yeah. the business and all that, and Bobby um, to keep me amused. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and all that. We had, and we had, we also had um, Austin. And he's, he seems he's, very well, he's, much well, he's more like one of us. The Brits group. Yeah. I mean, he lives in Uddersfield, you know. And he's, a, and he's, he's just, he loves Britain. Yeah. And he loves everything British. Yeah. And he was kind of, um, he was the one that was like really with us. I mean, not in the competitions, I have to say. Well, yeah, absolutely. But, no. but also Jenna had, she pulled him up on that, didn't she? Saying, you know, I you don't may know, live I didn't here. Hear that. I think yeah. she might have done, yeah. Yeah, she did. She said, you may live here, but you're yeah. still Team America. Oh, yeah, he is. But I be... don't know, yeah, but in his defence, when it came to the things, you know, the yeah. uh, tasks and all that, she def he definitely was fighting for America. I mean, there was no question. Him and James had their, uh, you know, they're the brothers. Yeah. Um, they, they were really against each other and it, they meant it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, you always kind of kept your calm in there. We didn't see you ever lose your head. But the one thing that did seem to irk you yeah. was the arguments over red wine. Yeah, it bloody well did, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like my red wine, and I tell you, I got very, very, very uh, peed off about the fact that we got some crappy uh, Beaujolais stuff. It's got labels over it, so you can't see it. And Jenna, because she's Jewish, got this bottle of very nice red wine, blessed by the rabbi. So I said, well, look, I, I said, can't we all be blessed by the rabbi and have some decent wine? But Big Brother never gave me the you know, never. They always kept sending us this, well, it's probably got it tonight. So, uh -huh. were pe are people just not sharing it? Because it is yeah, red well, wine seems a thing. to be she the got cause upset. of a lot of conflict Well, it in did, there. because she got upset. Because we said, well, can we have some of that red wine? And, oh, no, this is my, you know, I'm, it's blessed by the rabbi. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'd like to meet this rabbi. But um, it was like... Uh, we didn't get any decent wine. And that really can pee you off, you know, over a period, because you think, I can't drink. I mean, the last night, I, st I didn't touch the red wine. I just went, ah, oh, God, this is undrinkable. I didn't touch it. I had a gin and tonic instead. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> um, how do you think the Brits are coping in there? I think the Brits are coping fine. I mean, I think they're all kind of uh, OK. 
they're all they got each other. You know, they're kind of um, they're, they're kind of lively with each other and it, it's, friendly. It seems they're like, quieter. It seems like the Americans are kind of uh, you know going at it with each other. And, they seem to and fight amongst with, each with other. The Brits, and, but and the, Brits, uh, but yeah. the Brits are kind of staying well, tight and not really. Well, we're they're not, not turning on each other, are they? No, no, we're, we're British, darling. You know. <laughs> <laughs> We don't do that, but we don't. No, no, it's been quite quiet and sort of funny, and we've had some nice times, and and uh, I've I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the times, you know, certain, but I've I've got a bit bored at occasions, right. and um, trying to fill your day is quite yeah. difficult. I the mean, I, as you say, I'm not a, I'm not a games player, right? So therefore, you know, Bobby was always coming up with these games, which I actually joined in with in the end. You know, the shoving the tin down the thing and all that. I, so, there goes the tin, and uh, I got and, and he started devising various things, right. and they're all right. They're all right those games, but I'd, I'm, I'm found them a bit. Um, so it's time for a bit of peace and quiet, then, Chris. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Oh no, don't worry. We're not no, sending no. you back in. I'm straight. I'm, <laughs> I'm straight after New York. <laughs> Whey, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Um, Chris, <laughs> thank you very much. My pleasure. Here are your best bits. Thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> Chris, of course, I adore, but then we have been husband and wife together. I just want to adopt him. He could be my uncle or something. He's just very cool and very funny. You know, I never saw the TV show that he was on, but he, he's a good dude. Well, I'll keep an eye on him. I'm a grazer. What, then you ain't like put it on your meat? No, so I'm a grazer, not gravy. <laughs> grazer. You mingle, Chris. I, no, I can find things that'll irritate me. <laughs> I think Chris is getting a bit fed up now of, of the loudness of the Americans. It's tiring. Fine, I'm good without it. Have mine. They're moaning about the fucking wine again. It's a very different world. I've heard American I meet out there, I'm going to chin the cup. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, excuse That's me. That's quite all right, Christopher. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, he's such a nice man. Mm. I love you, darling. Oh, no, I love you too, darling. Oh, sorry, we I thought you were talking you. to me. We <laughs> love you, too. Yes, he's great. I can see your bollocks. We <laughs> <laughs> <Which> are good. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi! I shall walk out of here and say, well, that was an experience, and get on with my life, you know, which you do. Thank you so much. You are Fantastic. free! Oh, Go and see your friends and family. Thanks, guys. I think it's fair to say that Chris is a very happy man to be out of that house. Um, OK, so that is your lot for tonight. But listen up, because we have some news. Yes. This Friday, Sneaky Little Big Brother is pulling out a double fake eviction. Yes, we have got a secret room. Yes, two housemates will be spying on the house. However, this time there's a twist because we're going to be letting the rest of the house in on the plan. So it's a fake, fake eviction with a twist and it's going to be awesome. Um, as ever, you can keep up to date with all of the house gossip on the Big Brother website. Make sure you tune in at 11 p.m. this evening in one hour for a bit on the side with Riley. You're right, babe. What a night. Chris has become the second evictee to leave the house and he's going to be joining me here on Box where this lot are going to be getting their claws into him. Plus, Big Brother's been up to his old tricks again, so I'm going to need a little bit of assistance and maybe a bit of gossip. So get yourself down here and I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> Yes, that's in one hour. Uh, don't miss the House Highlight Show tomorrow night at 9pm and I will be back here live at 9pm on Friday for the fake, fake eviction. Thanks for watching. Good night. My chiropractor got in a car wreck on the way here.
so he can come uh, so tomorrow morning. We'll have to get all my jewelry on. Yeah. It's your guy or somebody you? Somebody Ready. you. We didn't yeah. find that one suit, did we? No, he's going here, so I don't have to go anywhere. No, we haven't got a... Um, Stay out of the yard, then. It's the president, so you're yeah, still the president. Yeah, yeah. Can you go now? Why don't you ask for a dustpan? Because you can't get all the dust. Man, listen, I asked these dudes. Even if I wanted to... I'm going to go in there right now because I've got to ask you for some other stuff. I'm going to be like, again, bro, dustpan, man. Just <laughs> 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 I know. 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 I